How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new I rate your teams video for cheap fast and reliable FIFA 20 ultimate team coins check out u7buy.com and use code Haber to get yourself 5% off all of your orders last night EA tweeted out that we are getting a foot birthday promo on Friday uh, along with this image essentially just saying foot birthday in previous years if you're new to fifa foot birthday is actually quite a big promo it's one of the bigger ones that yeah usually release uh usually we get a team or sometimes two teams depending on if they're doing two week promos like they are this year um and yeah we get a team of, of foot birthday cards typically it's it's op cards from previous fifas last year and the year before we got players like Zumbia, MNEK, the likes of those kind of players, really juiced up uh, random players, basically. Um, we get promo packs, we get typically, we, do, we usually get some pretty decent SBCs. Last year, we got the icon upgrades, we've already had those now, so uh, we'll see what we get. We'll probably get 81 pluses, something like that, along with um, some of the daily SBCs, player SBCs, objectives, things like that. Usually... It's EA's almost way of giving back sort of thing. You know, they kind of give us some really good value things usually. Uh, whether that's going to be the same this year, I don't know. But I thought we'd mention that as that's coming on Friday. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So there might be a lot of changes come this Friday in terms of people's teams. Now, let's jump straight into it. It's actually about half six in the morning. So a lot of these teams are actually going to be from 40 minutes ago plus. Um, as you see with Dab Dab and Abraham's. Uh, so yeah, that's why they're, they're so long. It's not that I've, I've, I haven't skipped any teams. It's just how it is. Um, anyway, starting off with Dab Dab see me says, hi, I've got Baggio in my icon pack. Is that an L? Uh, uh it's prime Baggio. I don't think it's too bad to be fair. I've got 300,000 coins to spend and the first picture is my team. Everyone's untradeable except for Fred, Gerard, Lodi and Ramos. I play the same formation in game, except that I switch Baggio and Bruno, uh, in game. Second is my team idea. Okay. Um, I don't think Badjo's too bad, actually. I think he's actually a pretty good cam. Five-star skills, good dribbling. Uh, the Prime card actually has decent stamina as well. That's one thing I thought that let him down with his other cards is that he didn't have great stamina. Uh, however, the Prime card actually gives him better stamina. Uh, this is a pretty decent team. Now, what I would probably do to upgrade this team personally... I mean, obviously, you've got that Fred card and, you know, I'd say in a few weeks' time... Uh, or in the next few weeks, should I say, you'll be able to get the headliner, not the headliner, the the um, storyliner, Fred, you know, the one from the end of the season. Uh, that'll be a big improvement straight away. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Gerard. I think what you could do is you could do a little bit of, uh, you could do some messing around with some uh, with some players, swap PK and swap Ramos, get yourself on the left, maybe um, a decent version of Eder Militao, and then get yourself uh, SBC Phillips on the left as well. Um, to link up with Rooney. Now, Phillips will be on eight chemistry because he won't get full chem because uh, he won't have... Uh, he'll have two, two red links, so he won't get full chemistry. But I think that he might be an improvement to Gerard. I'm not the biggest fan of baby Gerard. I don't think he's got the best stats in the world. And I think that the SBC Phillips card will actually probably be uh, quite the improvement. And I think doing the SBC, you might actually make a bit of coins because right now, um, especially in silver and gold packs, you can get a lot of stuff that sells for decent value. Um, now, this is the team idea you had um it's decent don't get me wrong obviously you've got that fred in there um gerard's not a cam though that's why i mean if you need a, a player on this left side and you need a cam uh i suppose you might be able to swap gerard and badger around and get somebody uh somebody english maybe from the prem or there's not a whole lot of options or you could go with a better english icon it's a difficult one because you're in a bit of a boat here where you only got 300k, so you can't get any of the top tier icons. Um, there's not a whole lot of amazing English icons as well uh, in the center mid to cam positions. You could maybe go for that Lampard card for 10 tokens from Icon Swaps. That might be a better cam than Gerard, but you're in a bit of a tricky boat here, to be honest, mate. Uh, not going to lie. The next scene coming from Abraham. He says, the second pick is what a playing game. Everyone's untradeable uh, other than Emerson, and I've got 300,000 coins. Keep it the vid. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, it's a decent team actually. I like the I like the setup a little bit. Um, not entirely sure about Saint Max. I mean, I'm not entirely sure about this whole front line. To be honest, we're we're quite far into FIFA now, and I think this front line is becoming a little bit obsolete. Um, that's the way I see it personally. What I would do with this team is I would replace Saint Maximin with your 86 headline at so that you've got chilling on the bench. Uh, at striker, I would then look to possibly get you i'm trying to think of a decent striker and right wing link um you've got obviously dan james but i mean i don't uh, you know i think dan james is better than the guy you've got already um 
trying to think of a decent striker right wing link up here uh, that you could go for. I mean, I suppose you could use Dan James and get yourself uh, Ian Rush's Prime Moments card from swaps. That could be a possibility. Uh, that's if he's enough tokens. I know you've done the Prime Pack and got Baggio. Um, you could also maybe go with uh, Usman Dembele at right wing, or you could wait for foot birthday. We could get a version of Usman Dembele, to be honest. I feel like that's a card we've not had a lot of special cards of this year. Uh, we've only had pretty much his road to the final, uh, and given how EA work, it obviously it's an OP card. I feel like we could get a, a foot birthday Usman Dembele, and if we do, you could definitely play him over at the right and then just get a French striker, possibly, instead of uh, instead of switching out to Maximin. You've got a few different options to explore here, to be honest. Um, I think it's solid, but... Yeah, this guy at centre mid is just not an option in my opinion. Um, I just don't. I I personally use a four one two one two narrow. You are going to be so vulnerable to counter attacks here that it's you probably concede a lot of goals with this team, unfortunately. Um, but with three hundred k, it's just difficult, man. It's a difficult predicament to be in. The next team coming from T three says the second picture is what I play in game. The goalkeeper is Larice. Uh, sorry about the first pick. Uh, oh, okay, I got you. Um. Only Longley, Hernandez, and Sans on a tradable, and I've got 150k. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I wonder how much you guys play the game when you've got teams like this. Because the way I see it, like, I, I know a lot of people that have been playing the game since the start that have played over a thousand games this year that have million coin teams, you know, like like multiple millions of coins and have a lot of coins liquid. I, when I see teams like this and you've only got 150k spare, I wonder where your coins have gone this year, personally. Um, maybe you've just been ridiculously unlucky in packs as well. That's definitely possible with how EA rig packs and things like that this year. Uh, with this team, uh, I don't think the five backs are good formation, personally. But obviously, you probably play it. So, uh, you, it probably works for you. Uh, for me, not a big fan of the five back this year. Um, even with the, the full backs on, on get forward, it just it leaves you exposed on the wings, in my opinion. I would say... You could go and get that uh, man of the match, Nabry, for Orsic. That'll get you full chemistry as well. Um, that's a pretty good card. Uh, if you're wondering which Nabry I'm talking about, because EA never actually announced that these cards were in the game. He actually got a left wing man of the match card. Uh, it's 121k, and it's actually a really decent card. And I think you could get him instead of Orsic over at that left forward spot and get a full chemistry there. Uh, it's definitely a good card, especially with the likes of a, a good chem style on as well. There you go. Um, he played really, really well in game as well. I feel like uh, really good shooting stats, good finishing, things like that. 99 finishing in game, 85 composure, really nice stats there. I think could be a, definitely a big improvement to Orsic. Um, next one coming from, uh, it's going to be from Brubra. <laughs> You said, oh wait, hang on. Yeah, okay, the team, the, I thought it might have been a, I saw the iPhone thing at the bottom. I thought it might have been a dodgy picture, but it's fine. This is my team. I'm planning on getting 16 tokens for Burkamp. Neuer, Zakaria, Piszczek, Kimmich, Roussillon, and everyone on the bench, not Goretzka, or, or, or untradeable, sorry. I have 1.7 million coins. Also, is Keane a good shout, or should I get someone else? I personally like him. If you personally like Keane, mate, get him straight away. Uh, I am a massive advocate for using players you like in real life. So that's why I use a lot of players I like in real life. I'm just going to move my camera a little bit as well. So I'm more centralized. I do apologize if that's hurt anyone's OCD there. Um, I'm a big advocate of using players that you enjoy. Uh, I personally enjoy a lot of different icons that maybe aren't that usable in game, but you have a lot more fun with it because it obviously maybe brings back football nostalgia. Uh, maybe it's just players you enjoy using more. So you just use them more, I guess, or you just enjoy the game more as you use them. So I'd definitely get Roy Keane if I were you. That leaves you with a lot of coins though. Uh, that back line is really, really nice. So is that midfield to be fair. Um, your team is really good though. The only improvements you have here are definitely just icons. And I just say, get players you enjoy. You know, if, you, if you're a Man United fan and that's why you love Roy Keane so much, maybe you get yourself a Lauren Blanc or maybe get yourself a Rio Ferdinand. Maybe get yourself, a, I don't know, maybe you get yourself a Paul Scholes if you want to get a Paul Scholes or something. Um, but your team is endgame, bro. It's a really, really solid team. I wouldn't change a whole lot of this team. It's It's definitely really, really nice. Next one coming from David, who says, got 50,000 coins and I wanted to save up for upgrades. Looking to improve the team. This is what I play in game. The untradables are Azpilicueta, Hierro, Litmanen, James, and Allison. Keep it the good work. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it, man. Don't know why the, the, the bottom bits... Oh, it's because it's... It, okay. Um, what would I do with this team? I'd get rid of Aguero, mate. You've only got 50k. Tough one. How much is Aubameyang these days? I think he's actually gone up quite a lot because of... Uh, because of natural inflation, yeah, 65k. Is your Aguero tradable? 
Uh, untrades are... Okay, so Aguero is tradable. I'd sell Aguero and get yourself a Bamiang. I think that, that team's probably improved quite a lot there. Next one coming from Jared. He says, hey, love all your content, man. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Uh, second pick is kind of to show you who else I've got in my club. And the third pick is in-game formation. Uh, I play Gerard defensively. Uh, all untradable except for Mbappe to stay against Semedo and Ben Yedda. Got you. Well, thank you for the support, man. I appreciate the kind words. Wow. You've got untradable Hullet. <laughs> oh, my word. That is a GG, bro. That is absolutely incredible. You've actually had some really good icon look, to be fair. I mean, Akoch is a little bit of an L. Uh, so is Van der Sar, I guess. But Gerard's really, really good. Kak has really, really good. Hullet is absolutely insane. That's, that's literally the biggest W you possibly could get, in my opinion. Uh, I actually like this team a lot as well. Now, you've got how many coins? You didn't mention how many coins you've got. But, I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you've probably got a few hundred K at least. I would say it's a difficult one. You're saying you play Gerard defensive in this setup. I would play both defensive in this setup, to be honest. Hullet, in my opinion, when I used him, I used him for quite a while as well. I played him alongside Vieira. I played Hullet as a, as a midfielder to try and get up and, and, and attack more and didn't really enjoy him as an attacking centre mid. Um, I wanted them to be a box-to-box -box and get involved in the attack, but this game doesn't really cater for really tall, clunky players in the attack. Uh, unless you're doing such a, a passing style of play, um, it really caters. Like, the rest of your attack is perfect for the way the game plays, but pull it unless like you're just going to pass it into him and he, and he has no intention of turning in any way and just shooting you you'll kind of uh you'll kind of find him quite clunky and difficult to build up attacks with so what i would do is i'd probably play both of them defensively uh now improvements to this team believe it or not i think you could probably improve on Fyler mendy um good card don't get me wrong but i think you can improve on him what i would personally do in this setup is i would play ramos as your right center back and then i'd get yourself bellerin as your right back because i see you've got that that player moment is bellerin on the bench and then play bellerin as your left back and nelson as your right back or vice versa whichever one you actually feel more comfortable with um but i think you do that and then as for the rest of the team maybe your next step is is upgrading ryan kent now don't get me wrong obviously he's a good card in that but uh maybe you go for a, a better right wing in the future uh, maybe you go with, I don't know, really. You could go with anyone in this, in this setup. Uh, you can go with an icon. You can go with a French player. You can go with with an English player. You can go with a lot, of, a whole lot of different people here. Um, but I would say, yeah, I'd say uh, definitely look at upgrading Kent after that. Next one coming from Jonathan, who says, Hey, hey, but this is my team. I got Figo from the Prime Icon Pack and I have roughly 50,000 coins for improvements. The intradables are Kara and Oshman. Uh, second picks, how I plan on playing in game. Thanks, love the vids. Watch from Canada. Hey, appreciate the support, man. Hope all is well, and I'm, I'm, I appreciate that you're watching for all the way from Canada, bro. That's crazy. Uh, let's check this team out. Okay, it's definitely interesting. Um, a very interesting setup indeed. Hmm. I think you could get a better goalie. I don't know how good Kalo Navis is, but for some reason, I have a weird feeling he's not that good in game. And it's definitely a player where you could possibly get someone a little bit more OP over here. Uh, obviously, it has to be from League 1, but that's sort of one thing you could do. Uh, the rest of the team is decent. I, I like the team, obviously. I think it's a decent team. I think playing these two is kind of counterproductive. Um, Oshman and, and Dembele are both out-and-out -out strikers, and you're playing one as a striker and one as a cam. You could go with the future stars of Kone to play as your left cam and, and maybe bench either Dembele or uh, Oshman, whichever one you uh, you prefer to bench, because as you, as you said, you're only uh, tradable to Kera and Oshman. Uh, you could sell that Dembele, get yourself future stars of Kone and play him as a cam. But the rest of the team is solid, in my opinion. Uh, I just look to possibly upgrade um, to a better CDM in the near future. Or you could even actually... One thing you could do is you could upgrade that that Idrissa for Maldini. That's one thing you could do, is get get that Maldini from Icon Swaps. Or even get yourself Kaka and upgrade Dembele to Kaka. Uh, whichever one you think is, is better, in my opinion. Uh, but the rest of the team is solid. Next one coming from uh, Nathan, who says, This is my team. They're all untradable except for Aguero and Kempembe. And I've got 100,000 coins to play with. I play a 4-3, a 3-4, a 3-1-4-2. I can't even speak. I do apologize. 3-1-4-2 in game. What are some improvements to my team? Well, you've had some pretty incredible icon look. Let me tell you that. You play this in game. Really? Uh, fair enough. Um, I don't know what to say, to be honest. I think you are... I think I think you mentally are way excelled past my pay grade. I think that you you are an enlightened state, and I don't want to tell you to change anything because I don't know what's going through your head or why you play this. But 
if you enjoy playing this, then you are a smart human being than I'll ever be. And I don't want to try and insult your intelligence by telling you to play something differently. So I'm going to say enjoy, have fun, enjoy FIFA. Uh, Long lay is probably your weak spot in this team, but is he? I don't know. You could maybe improve him in some way. Um, how many coins you got? 100k. I mean, I don't know exactly who you could improve him with, but you could maybe improve Longley. Apart from that, the team is pretty nice, bro. <laughs> don't know what else to say. Uh, unfortunately, these are not hasty screenshots, Josh. I do apologize, mate. It's really easy, though. Uh, you're on you're on PlayStation. Check out my second channel. I made a tutorial on there, how to take a hasty screenshot and post it onto Twitter. It's, it's not that difficult at all. Next one coming from Jukes, who says, I've got 100,000 coins, Orsic, Gattuso, Tovan, and Awa aren't tradable. Went to get Wambasaka, but don't know how to fit him in. Great content. Keep it the good work. I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you really can't fit in the... Uh, you can't fit in that one with at all, can you? Um, yeah, it's a tough one. How is that Gattuso card? I saw a lot of people wanted to take him, but it's a difficult one, isn't it? Uh, what I would say with this team, the only weeks... I, I don't like that Tovan card. I thought it was awful when I used him. I thought that Tovan card was terrible. Just my personal opinion. Uh, if you can upgrade that card, then maybe try and upgrade that card. Um, one thing you could do is possibly... Hang on. Uh... Hovan, Alwar, and Gattuso. So you, you could possibly sell Mertens, get yourself a, a French striker, maybe a version of uh, maybe a version of Ben Yedder, and then get yourself over on this right hand side. Uh, use that maybe that Lucas card and and change your right back, or maybe you maybe you play Rashford off Kem and get Wambazaka in the team, or you could just play Lucas off Kem and play Wambazaka off Kem as well, both on eight chemistry on that right side as well. That would be the worst idea in the world. Then you get to use Wambazaka too. Um, next one coming from just a smiley face who says, Hello, Haber. I've got a budget of 200,000 coins. Icons on the bench and the objective players are untradeable. I'm willing to sell players and I play a 4 2 3 1 in game. Your videos are amazing. Keep going, man. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. First things first, Furlan Mendy at left back. Easy. You guys have. I've missed telling people to get Furlan Mendy, but it's been difficult because everyone's got really good left backs these days. But I'd say get Furlan Mendy at left back. Uh, GG on the Matthias as well. That's pretty insane. Um,. Gorsby's a good player as well. I like, I like this setup a lot. I think he's got to improve your, your centre-backs now. Um, maybe you replace uh, Longley with Ramos when you can afford it. The rest of the team's solid, though. Uh, replace your defence, get a better defence, and then work on get yourself a better CDM over here instead of Rijkaard. Maybe play Matthias over there at right CDM and get yourself a good cam. Maybe you go in icon swaps for Kaka. No, actually, get Maldini from icon swaps. Maldini would be way better, beneficial to your defence than Kaka would be to your attack. Get Maldini for your defense from Icon Swaps and then work from there. Definitely. Uh, the next one coming from E to the Oi. Yeah, just double checking that I can actually see it because sometimes when I see the black bars, it, it, it goes really, really small and difficult to see. Uh, I don't want to see any jokes about me doing that, okay? Um, <laughs> first is how I start. Second in game, everyone's untradeable and willing to get over my. Uh, we'll be getting over Mars soon. I got around 100k for upgrades. I know it's messy, but that's the best I can do, to be honest. Keep up the good work. Hey, I appreciate the support, man. Um, again, five at the back. Personally, not not a big fan. But if you like playing it, then I can't really uh can't really fault you. What I would say with this team, get yourself the SBC Tonali. Uh, I think he'd help you out a lot here. Um, yeah, get yourself Tonali, and then and then maybe play Tonali uh over Guardiola. Uh, because it's not going to affect chemistry at all, is it? You've got chemistry on everyone. He'd. Would he get full chemistry? Um, no, he wouldn't. But you could play Barella as your right centre mid, then Tonali as your striker. Um, and I think that he's going to be better than Guardiola. The rest of the team is, is very interesting. I can't say more than that because I don't I don't know more than that about that team. That's actually kind of crazy. It's messy, like you said, but very interesting. Uh, and then the last one for this episode is going to be from Declan, who says 1.4 mil for upgrades. All the ones to watch I pull from the SBC in only seven attempts. GG. Uh, trainer was a Ben Yedder, Mendy, Lloris, and Mane, and Mertens, and to Stegen on the bench last reserves. Planning on going for Dalglish to swap for Decore. Ludovic from Australia. Hey, appreciate the support, man. Um, wow, that's some really good ones to watch. Look, yeah, Dalglish is really solid. Um, it depends where you're playing him. If you're not playing Dalglish as a striker, I'd go Burkamp for Cam. I think Burkamp would be a better Cam than uh, than Dalglish personally. Um. I know that the team is solid, don't get me wrong, but Dalglish doesn't have the passing stats that Burkamp has, and I think Burkamp's probably a little bit better as that camera. If you're going for an out-and-out -out striker, 
that get Dalgleish. And if you want to change things around, get Dalgleish and then swap uh, Benyeda for Dalgleish in game. So that Dalgleish plays striker and Benyeda plays cam, because Benyeda is pretty good cam as well. Uh, but this team is decent though. And by the way, I apologize, my voice is going. I've been shouting at Call of Duty all night. <laughs> um, but it's been fun. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for supporting the channel. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. Uh, I've just said support on the channel three times in a row in quick succession and it's probably annoyed at least one of you. I do apologize. Uh, but thanks for 132,000 subs, 25,000 followers on Twitter. We just hit that recently as well. Um, and 50,000 on Instagram. We hit that a little while back, but I never really said thank you for that. So I appreciate that. We also uh, stream daily on Twitch. Um, so make sure you follow me there. We've just hit 15,000 on there as well, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you all for that. And I'll see you later later.